Good morning, everyone, and uh, thank for uh, thank you for being uh, uh, for taking the time today and joining us in uh, in this webinar. Um, we are waiting for uh, a couple of more minutes. We see attendees uh, uh, coming in, so we'll wait another couple of minutes before uh, starting with the with the webinar. Um, just some um, uh, housekeeping. If uh, if you have any question, <clears throat> please don't hesitate to just. Uh, uh, keep writing your questions uh, in uh, in the Q and A session. Uh, we'll do. Uh, we'll dedicate uh, the last uh, ten to fifteen minutes of the webinar to the um, to Q and A session. So please just uh, um, share your questions uh, uh, at any time. See you in a couple of minutes. Shabir, while we wait for for people uh, uh, to join and uh, and to actually get started with the, with the webinar, uh, last time we spoke, I think a couple of weeks ago, you told me that in in Dubai it was uh, 50 Celsius degrees. Is that still the case, or uh, did it get any better? Yep, uh, it is getting better now, uh, but still it's on high 40s. You know, still oh. the summer is on us. Okay. Uh, yeah. And the main part is the humidity, you know, that really kills people. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's part of yeah. the life over here. It's, it is, uh, uh, no, no, people absolutely. are used to just live with them. Yeah. Absolutely. It's been, it's been a crazy, crazy warm here in Denmark for uh, the last couple of weeks. And by crazy warm, I, I mean uh, 25 to 27 degrees. And, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> and, uh, and now I think everything is going back to, to normality. So it's cloudy today. Um, but yeah, I don't think that Denmark, for example, has ever seen anything above 30, 30 degrees in a, in All right. a system. But autumn is on the corner, so hanging in there. Yeah, uh, autumn year starts at the end of August, so we're almost yeah. ready. <laughs> Let's hope things go smooth now. Yeah. Okay, so we, we see, see people joining more. in. Yeah, more and more people coming in, so maybe we can wait another just couple of minutes. Um, and then and then we can we can get started. And maybe the people who have just joined, maybe you can you wanna write in in the chat session where where you guys are uh, connecting from. We usually have attendees from uh, Europe, Middle East, uh, Asia. It's always uh, Africa. Uh, it's always very interesting to see where where people uh, uh, join uh, uh, from. And if you want, I think it will also be very interesting, uh, uh, and this uh, again to the attendees, uh, if you want to share even privately, what is, uh, what is that you're looking for from this webinar? Uh, what is the expected uh, uh, takeaway that you hope to bring home uh, uh, today? That would, uh, that would definitely be interesting for us also to you know, adapt the presentation based on uh, what, uh, what you guys are uh, expecting to learn. Yeah, I would welcome all the attendees to, you know, put their thoughts in the chat. So that will help us to uh, understand uh, what is your takeaway and get back to you more strongly. Okay, Shabir, shall we start? And and then maybe people will uh, will still uh, be joining, uh, you know, throughout the whole webinar. But maybe we should uh, get started. Yep, yep, let's start. Okay, so thank you everyone uh, once again to join us in, uh, in this webinar that is very much uh, around uh, why HR leaders should obsess over employee experience. Um, just, uh, just a quick note uh, on the speakers and the agenda before we get into the core uh, of, uh, of the webinar. Uh, my name is Francesco Stasi, I'm the CEO and founder at Bot Supply. Um, at Bot Supply, we've been focusing uh, over the last four years on building chatbots for enterprises. And um, we've been working with more than, uh, than 80, uh, 80 customers covering uh, somehow uh, the, whole, the whole world. Um, and we are very much focused on, uh, on the technology part of, uh, of building a chatbot. So an easy to use um, interface that everyone can use um, without any kind of coding skill required and the natural language processing capabilities who also cover uh, Arabic, uh, Arabic, uh, uh, the Arabic language. Um, together with me today, Shabir, Shabir Vara from Evosys. Both Supply and Evosys are working on a global scale together to deliver uh, chatbots to some of the biggest uh, enterprises in the world. 
Uh, so Shabir, maybe you also want to introduce yourself uh, and yeah. uh, work at Evosys. Well, thank you. Thank you, Francesco, for introducing me. So hi, this is Shabir. Uh, I'm part of Evosys from last eight years now. Uh, my role at Evosys is uh, innovation, uh, where I lead the innovation team in the EMEA region. Uh, uh, my role is primarily to enable my customers to uh, you know, just start the innovation journey uh, and start helping them to innovate in their way of business, innovate how they deal with their employees, innovate how they deal with the customers, and uh, in the end, resulting into a business benefit for them. So as an Evosys, we are a, a master company. We are part of uh, Oracle uh, partner team. We are Oracle partners from last 14 years. Uh, we specialize in implementation of uh, Oracle applications as well as Oracle technology solutions uh, around digital assistance, automation, uh, and so on. So that's more or less about Evosys. Uh, we are spread across 30 countries. Uh, we are a global company. We have presence in, we started our uh, journey from Middle East 14 years ago, and now uh, we are spread across around 30 countries globally with around 1,500 consultants working for us across the globe. So that was a bit about Evosys. Over to you, Francisco. Awesome, awesome. I'll I'll share something about uh, you know the agenda for today. What kind of topics we're gonna we're gonna cover? Um, I think we already gone through the uh, welcome uh, welcome uh, uh, piece. Um, the first topic that we're gonna cover uh, is uh, is about uh, employee experience, what it is and why it, it is relevant. Um, we're gonna then move on to chatbots and how chatbots can uh, can help um, not can help how chatbots help. Um, enterprises providing a, a better um, employee experience. Uh, some ROI from other enterprises, so why chatbots uh, uh, matter uh, to you. Mm, we're going to cover a little bit also uh, how easy it is to actually get started. Uh, many, many people think about chatbots as something that takes months and years to, to develop and, and deploy. Uh, it can actually take as little as, as one week. And then we have a giveaway because uh, because uh, um, for those uh, who are actually going to take a screenshot uh, throughout uh, throughout the webinar throughout the presentation and we'll post it on LinkedIn and tag uh, both Bot Supply and Evosys, um, we'll actually pick um, two of uh, two of you uh, for a free uh, for a free pilot. Um, so this is a bit of of the agenda. Um, we're also going to have some some polls just to make the session a bit more uh, interactive and and learn more about uh, uh, you know the hr world that uh, that you live in so i think that we're gonna go with uh, with the first uh, poll now here we go and this is very much about uh, whether employee experience has an effect on uh, on uh, on the productivity both yours and uh, and of your team a few more seconds I see people uh, uh, voting. Let's give it a five more seconds and then we can move on. Okay, and it seems like uh, everyone uh, agrees uh, uh, on the importance of uh, <clears throat> of employee experience to um, to actually you know augment the productivity of uh, of uh, of your teams. So 100 percent, this is the, the result of pretty uh, a pretty strong uh, a pretty strong uh, uh, result. Um, <clears throat> those who voted 100 uh, percent uh, strongly agree. Uh, you guys are actually very correct. Um, because because what we have seen and and these numbers come from studies from Accenture and and some of the big consultancies, uh, what we see is that employee experience um, is uh, is um, is a key factor for companies out there in the world uh, to have a competitive advantage. Um, more and more, you know, education also through you know free online courses is uh, is is spread in uh, uh, on a global scale everyone has access to uh, good education one way or the other and so the pool of talented people uh, is uh, is growing uh, is growing dr dramatically all over the world so those companies who can attract the majority of these uh, talented uh, employees are the ones uh, who actually win 
and the ones who actually win in uh, in, uh, in providing uh, a good employee experience for we see is that they have a hundred and twenty two percent higher performances in, compared to um, standard and Poor's 500 uh, who don't have uh, a great uh, a great experience and while uh, we look at uh, we look at uh, customer experience as the battleground uh, for loyalty and we're talking about uh, customer loyalty uh, we look we look at uh, employee experience to boost workforce uh, engagement productivity and retention to the point that 21 percent to the point that companies with uh, with uh, with uh, who are able to create a good working environment, a good working space, uh, have 21% uh, higher profitability compared to those who have a poor a poor engagement. Um, based on these uh, these couple of numbers, um, how can technology, how can chatbots actually help you uh, delivering better employee experience? Uh, this is something that we're gonna have a look at in the next uh, section of uh, of the presentation i think we're going to have uh, another poll uh, right now before before uh, we move on uh, to introducing what chatbots are and how they're helping uh, uh, enterprises to to provide better uh, employee experience and uh, and so if you if you have uh, knowledge on uh, digital assistants and chatbots already um, based on the context of the of the employee experience that we are discussing today, maybe you have an idea of uh, of how chatbots can actually help you uh, providing uh, providing uh, uh, better uh, employee experience. Employee interaction self service. Eighty eight percent of you mention uh, mentioned that this is uh, this is where chatbots can actually provide. Uh, uh, the most uh, the most value. Interesting that uh, interesting to hear that many of you already know what uh, what chatbots are. So I'm gonna go through uh, the next uh, three four slides in uh, in uh, you know a slightly quicker quicker way. Um, then I would guess that all of you know that you know both uh, customers but also your employees uh, um, they want answers now. Nobody's uh, nobody's keen to send you an email and wait one two three four days to actually get a uh, an answer to uh, very simple, very simple queries like um, I don't know, show me my payroll for December 2018, right? Um, while employees and customers don't want to wait a long time to get an answer from uh, from um, from uh, from you as a brand, for you as a company, there are also a lot of uh, um, repercussions and uh, and uh, in terms of managing these uh, these um, big amounts of of uh, repetitive queries that you get from from your your employees. On average, what we see is that uh, an IT support or NHR support or customer service support requests uh, cost around five euros each. So whenever someone is sending you an email, uh, you as a company are spending or investing or wasting uh, five five euros to actually get uh, that uh, that question uh, uh, answered and and so that means that the more the more customers the, the more employees you have the more uh, people you need to actually get uh, um, these uh, these questions answered but can you actually manage to um, scale your support team hr support team by hiring more people what we see also due to due to covid is that uh, that is going to be more and more difficult uh, in the future and so that's uh, that's where uh, that's where chatbots actually come in and provide a lot of value because chats but chatbots are there 24 7 um, they provide real-time responses uh, uh, they can be omnichannel so you can integrate them with your slack microsoft teams uh, Oracle HCM, uh, Facebook Messenger, uh, WhatsApp, wherever wherever your people are, you can actually have uh, a chatbot, and a chatbot can actually take uh, you know they can answer thousands of requests at the same time um, without needing uh, you know to be um, to be paired with uh, with another chatbot because the amount of uh, the amount of queries that that you can handle is basically uh, endless. And when we look at the HR application of uh, of chatbots, what we see 
before going into a demo where Shabir is going to show you show us a couple of a couple of videos here are just a couple of use cases where where we see chatbots providing a lot of value uh, in automating very repetitive and very simple and, and low added value uh, tasks like absences pay slips and uh, onboarding uh, recruiting and of course each and every of you will have uh, some specific use cases uh, that want that needs to be that need to be automated uh, by a chatbot but these are you know what we what we see being uh, the most uh, the most common uh, use cases um shabir we have um, we have uh, another another uh, poll uh, before uh, before we actually show uh, a couple of a couple of demo uh, a couple of demos and the poll right now is uh, is how you look at a uh, chatbots uh, as a, as a tool uh, to improve employee experience. So really looking forward to see what uh, what the uh, what people are gonna select in this poll. Ease of access to information, less training of applications, and reduce employee workload. Okay, Shabir, maybe maybe you wanna guide us through a couple of a couple of demos uh, that we have. Yeah. Right. So uh, so we had one use case with one of our customers in in Middle East where uh, the management had uh, quite a challenging time on getting data on their fingertips. So this was a use case for a finance uh, manager, a CFO, where he wanted to have a real time information on how his company is performing. So uh, the group of finance managers get together with the CFO and they discuss about the company performance. So they would find it very cumbersome to get details out of a, a, a traditional web UI. So uh, we built a chatbot for them and this chatbot was able to, you know, understand our financial terms and KPIs, numbers and so on. Uh, they can, as you see in the video, you know, if they were able to end this chatbot was able to understand on what user is trying to say, what kind of KPI from financial point of view they are looking at. And the chatbot gave them an option, let's say, because this customer was a big conglomerate and it, they have multiple line of businesses, multiple group of entities working within them. So uh, they can get their entire financial reporting uh, through a chatbot in a conversational way. You know, they can select the entities, uh, they can get the data as an output in form of a graph and charts. So that will help them to understand uh, very quickly on how the company is performing, what are the KPIs, uh, they can even zoom in on those. Uh, charts and graphs they can share those details you know as a report to uh, any different customers they uh, or different users internally to get their feedback on it so this chatbot uh, really created a big impact on the customer uh, uh, customer experience right uh, uh, the internal employee experience where uh, the management was able to get this report uh, in a very quick time and very short time and apart from a conversation chat uh, we also enable this uh, chatbot on Siri so they can get all this data through voice uh, let's say while drinking a coffee at a, a coffee shop you know just while having coffee they can find out what is the financial performance of the organization so there was the number one use case that we have implemented it's awesome right how how technology actually helps you get in uh, all of this information about your business uh, uh just you know talking to talking to yeah uh, to so, so we have a, we have this a... resonates, yeah. So this resonates with the the poll that the the, the people and the audiences has responded. Yeah. You know, the ease of access to the information. So the chatbot demo, I mean, that we showed. You know, that was one of the use cases where you know it was an ease of access to the information, the ease of access to the financial information, uh, where they can uh, uh, get that uh, information from the backend systems very quickly rather than going to a different navigations and so on. So I'll take you to another demo uh, where uh, it's a good use case of an edge job. So uh, imagine, you know, uh, you're, you have thousands of employees asking you uh, for a certain FAQ user queries, and most of the employees' most commonly used case is the applying for a leave, right? So uh, that's what they want to do it, let's say, if they suddenly plan for something and they have to apply for a leave, they have to log in an application and do it. So in this uh, demo, we'll, we can show that, you know, uh, they can use WhatsApp, uh, which is used by almost everyone nowadays in the, in the world, right? So they can use WhatsApp to log into their backend system, uh, communicate, do the transaction. You know, they can find out what is the leave balance they have. They can find out, they can apply for a leave. Uh, let's say in this case, they are applying for an, a leave for uh, a business travel, right? They suddenly got a business meeting and they want to apply for that leave. Uh, and they can do that transition in a conversational way. They can ask uh, about, uh, 
what kind of leave they want to apply, uh, what will start time, end time, and so on. And this this way, you know, it's, it's easier for an end user to uh, do the transaction in their HR application and get uh, the transaction done without having to log in in the system uh, right through a WhatsApp number. And this WhatsApp again is a very secure way, you know, to they, we give them a two layer of security where they have a OTP based mechanism and they have a, a a credential based mechanism where they can lock into the fusion using the same fusion credentials so they can even check the leave balances they can apply for another leave uh, and so on so this this experience on whatsapp you know it changes the game you know it changes the way uh, how easily the information of your fusion i mean your hcm you uh, know your, your hr system is available to your uh, employees on 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 their whatsapp numbers and this can help your employees to have a good experience, you know, the, the kind of uh, easy way of, uh, you know, accessing all the information and so on. So this was about uh, the HCM demo uh, that you wanted to show about. And what we, see here, what we see here, Shabir, is, a, is an English uh, English demo, but uh, um, of course we right. also provide the, uh, support for Arabic language. So, so if your people internally speak Arabic, then uh, then we can definitely accommodate that need uh, with our Arabic NLP available out of the box um, in our in our offering. Um, right. So, as a platform, we do support more than around twenty-seven languages, right? So, that really helps, you know, to to make it our single chatbot having multiple languages and can address to all different types of employees that you might have. Okay, so we're gonna get a we're you know slowly getting into the into the towards the end of the presentation, so we can leave the next uh, the last uh, ten minutes for for Q and A. We might actually have uh, um, before before getting into why this all matters to you. What are the KPIs and the ROI that you can unlock with uh, with chatbots? Um, we might have an, an additional uh, poll that we can uh, we can uh, you know take together before moving into the next uh, the next section which is very much about uh, you know are you already using chatbots in your organization um or have you ever done any any even just a pilot to to try this technology out and uh, and check the business benefits that uh, it can bring uh, it can bring to you Well, we're getting interesting response, uh, Francisco. Uh, good to share that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really curious to see the the final uh, the final result. I a think couple of more seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No. Okay. There we go. So, percent yes, and eighty nine percent, eighty nine percent no. So, so maybe you don't want to share, you know, publicly. So out of the audiences that we have almost 89 percent are not using chatbot as of today yeah. and uh, only just 11 percent of, of them are using a chatbot or might have done a kind of a pilot project with a chatbot yeah so that's very so, interesting you know most of the audiences that we have are uh, interesting interesting results uh, let's see if, uh, if the next couple of slides actually uh, you know uh, help you understand the, the the value that these uh, that these uh, solution can bring to your to your business because uh, we we have uh, customers, and this is an example um, of an HR uh, solution with uh, one of our customers in in Iceland, um, where within a couple of months they've been able to automate 65% of the most common HR requests. Um, I also I will also show you a couple of slides on on how chatbots are relevant, yes, to HR, but not just about uh, HR, because as we mentioned. Uh, um, they can be that they, they can be used for a lot of different use cases. Here we have a, a case by uh, you know an Oracle an Oracle customer, University of, of Adelaide, where where they also were able to automate almost 50% of uh, of the incoming for inquiries uh, during peak hours. So if you can just imagine maybe a, a company or a university uh, um, receiving. A, 5,000 calls a day, 10,000 calls a day, and the fact that you can automate 50% of them, then we're talking about you know a pretty a pretty strong, a pretty interesting business uh, ROI. Um, 
here we had a case with uh, one of our customers where chatbots were actually able to handle 75% of, of queries. Uh, so, so here we are talking about almost uh, uh, full uh, full automation of, of any incoming requests from uh, your customers or your employees. Shabir, are you here with us again? Yes, I'm here. Um, sorry, uh, I lost it. Am I audible oh, now? Yep. I can hear you. Yes. And, and yeah. I was showing, I was just showing a couple of a couple of uh, uh, use cases, and, and maybe you also quickly wanna wanna introduce what uh, what you've done with uh, Favats right. in, uh, in in Saudi. Yeah. So Favats and okay, we implemented the chatbot for uh, finance use case for uh, employee reporting. Uh, the, the demo that we saw was related to Vasalo Care, where they wanted to have, uh, as I said, you know, um, a multi-dimensional uh, reporting layer, and they were not very happy to use it on the front end. And they wanted to use most of the users were iPhone native users, and uh, so they wanted a, a communicational way of getting reporting. They wanted to use their voice and so on, and uh, getting this reporting on on the real time uh, from a, a CD app, let's say, on an iPhone and or a mobile application, it was pretty challenging to pull that. So we came up with an innovative way of doing modification within CDs and uh, iPhone app, uh, where we had a single bot uh, for all management requirement regarding, you know, they can see data in tabular format, they can see data right as a value or even graph, and they can zoom in and share those uh, graphs and reports to another managers or other department holders. So we had uh, this innovation implemented at Avazar Hoker, which is one of the biggest conglomerate in Saudi Arabia, having more than 15,000 employees and more than around uh, 20 line of businesses. So that was about the use case of Avazar Hoker that we did. Awesome, awesome. Um, I wanted to show uh, also some uh, some other use cases where, where chatbots can actually be uh, used uh, apart from, from HR. Um, as always, between one section and the other, we're going to have uh, a quick poll um, to make this uh, this session as interactive as uh, as possible. So I think we're going to start with the with the with the poll, which is very much about whether whether it could be uh, interesting for uh, for the attendees to hear more about how can we actually get started with a, with a free FAQ uh, chatbot. And the reason why uh, we mentioned a free FAQ chatbot is something that I'm going to show you in the next uh, in the next couple of uh, couple of slides. And but before getting into getting into that, um, I'm gonna I want to show you. Okay, that was a very good uh, very good answer. What I'm gonna what I'm gonna show you is. Uh, uh, some other use cases because we've been focusing on HR, but just to give you a broader horizon of uh, you know what chatbots can do for your business, uh, we can also use the chatbots to automate uh, uh, customer service. Of course, that's uh, that's somehow the most natural application of, of chatbots uh, um, up to date, um, where you can automate you know the most common uh, uh, customer service requests. Uh, you can also use it uh, still for for internal uh, internal uh, use cases like IT support. I do reset my password. I cannot I cannot get access to a specific uh, you know software and so on. Uh, and also for ERP, as one of the demos shown uh, shot by uh, by Shabir. So the, the the amount of different applications that chatbots can cover is basically endless. Wherever there is a, a conversation, uh, there is space uh, for a chatbot. And, and once again, I want we want to stress how how easy it is to actually get started with uh, with the chatbot uh, because uh, if you know we can uh, we can look at a, at, a, at a three steps uh, basically uh, implementation um, where step one is basically to understand and define what are the questions uh, that uh, that you want to automate. So maybe you have a list of the top uh, 10, 20, 30. Uh, FAQs that your that your employees ask uh, all the time, maybe calling you, sending you emails, uh, something that could easily be automated by by chatbot. Once you have um, defined what are the questions and answers that you want to automate, then it's just a matter of uh, of going into uh, into the system, uh, into our uh, our platform, and and basically train the AI with uh, with this set of questions and answers that you want to automate. Something that really takes uh, 
in between a couple of hours and a couple of days, depending on uh, on the amount of FAQs that you want to uh, you want to automate. And then step three is then launching uh, launching the chatbot and start seeing all of these uh, uh, all of these questions being automated basically from day one. And uh, and then we you know through a set of reportings analytics, you can always uh, see uh, what other questions you may actually want to add uh, to the data set. Uh, so that the chatbot can auto automate even more. Um, and of course, the more the chatbot is integrated with the backend systems, the more processes it can, it can automate. So if it's integrated with, uh, let's say, your Oracle HCM solution, then uh, questions like, please show me my, my payroll for January 2020, that's something that the chatbot can go into HCM, find the payroll, and, and, and show it back. Uh, to your employees. So getting started can be really, really simple. We, within a week, you can have your first uh, um, FAQ uh, chatbot up, uh, up and running. Um, I hope you guys, uh, you know, I hope uh, first of all that, 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 that the webinar uh, brought some, uh, some value to you, that you learned something, something new. And I really also hope that, uh, that you have, uh, uh, you know, taken the time to take a screenshot Tag bot supply and uh, and Evosys and uh, and and hopefully be selected uh, among those uh, those uh, those people who are going to receive uh, uh, who are going to be eligible for a free uh, POC. This being said, uh, I think we are somehow uh, done with the with the presentation, um, and I would really leave uh, would really like to leave the next uh, five to ten minutes uh, to to a Q and A session where we can really you know. Uh, hear hear from you um, if there is uh, any question about uh, you know chatbots how to get started the use cases integrations uh, languages any kind of, of topic we would like to um, cover it together so please go into the the, the Q a uh, session and uh, and and let us know if there is anything that we can uh, that we can answer and Shabir please uh, please feel free to to add anything uh, yeah. that you think maybe I you know, omitted. Uh, yeah, thank you, Francesco, for this. Uh, so, uh, really appreciate all the attendees to join, and uh, we'll be very happy to answer all your questions. Uh, please drop in your question in the Q and A section. Uh, most of the organizations, especially after COVID nineteen, uh, do want to innovate. So, start using chatbots for the employee experience, uh, to, for the customer experience, and also for the suppliers and so on, because. Uh, this is one of the easiest way, you know, that the experience or, uh, you know, ease of information uh, can be shared across to uh, different stakeholders. Uh, one single chatbot can improve your uh, end user experience by more than 70%. And this will result in the end, you know, to generate more and more business to, you know, it has a direct impact on how your organization is perceived across the organization. So please feel free to add any questions on how you can, how we can help you, how we can help you get started, how we can uh, start with a pilot project for you, uh, a free POC, uh, a free assessment, and so on. So feel free to ask questions. So I received uh, one question though in in, in my in my private uh, private chat uh, asking about whether we can uh, whether the chat work can uh, can be integrated in, in uh, with uh, with Oracle HCM, and uh, and the answer is yes. Um, you know, a chatbot via API can actually be integrated with any kind of uh, HR system you might have in place. Um, so Oracle HCM being both bots of plane Airbus and Oracle and Oracle partner, uh, Oracle partners, we, we, you know, that's, that's our focus. So we definitely integrate with Oracle HCM, but if you may use a Salesforce Workday, Genesis or any other solution, then, uh, then we definitely integrate with, uh, with those, uh, with those as well. Right, and just to add to that, you know, it can also be enabled on multiple channels. It could be on WhatsApp, it could be on mobile app, it could be on your employee portal, and so on. So there is no limit on uh, what chatbot can be integrated with with respect to the front end. Shabir, we have a, we have a question about yeah. what other processes can we automate regarding HR. You want to take it? Yeah. So. Uh, as just said in the presentation, you know, employee self-service being one, another is the employee recruitment, where we see uh, a lot of candidate screening that can be done through a chatbot. 
let's say if you're having a job portal and you want to exp uh, uh, promote your job jobs across your you know to different employee you know prospect employees uh, a chatbot could be easier way of getting their CVs collecting those CVs and answering those interview related FAQs right that could be one secondly is the uh, you know, employee onboarding process where uh, a guided chatbot workflow can uh, get your employee uh, aligned with your organization. You know, uh, that's all the onboarding activities of assigning him a particular email ID, creating his accounts and so on. Uh, that is one of the important use cases where uh, most of the HR organization are looking at it. Uh, another would be the employee self-service, uh, which is pretty easy to pick where your all entire employee self-service regarding uh, you know, right from leave to uh, any other request that they might have with, to the HR can be covered through uh, in chatbot. So I hope that answers your question, Shaki. I got another question in in private chat uh, regarding uh, Arabic uh, Arabic support, uh, whether it also comes with uh, with uh, uh, speech uh, uh, re recognition, and uh, and yes, we 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 support both. Uh, text-based interactions so uh, a chatbot speaking uh, you know in arabic in arabic uh, language and uh, and we we also have arabic speech to text so if your employees want want to interact for example with the with you on whatsapp uh, recording an audio message and uh, and uh, you know uh, waiting for um for a reply from the chatbot that can also that can also be done okay we have one more question yeah, we're almost time, so we'll take one more question. Uh, I think it is from Hatim. Uh, in case we, uh, the question goes, uh, in case we are not using Audio Cloud, can we implement chatbot without digital assistant? All right, so uh, I'll answer in two points, uh, Francisco, but then you can add on to it. So uh, this chatbot, uh, is, as Francisco mentioned earlier, is not dependent on Oracle, Oracle Cloud. It could be any uh, platform that you might be using for your HR. It could be Oracle HR, it could be a non-Oracle HR, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, it could be a cloud, it could be on-premise, it doesn't matter. We can integrate with any uh, HR application for your, uh, your employee experience for chatbot. Secondly, uh, chatbot and digital assistant, both are the same thing, you know, but uh, you know, they are more or less uh, uh, same, different terminologies for the same thing. So uh, we can implement that. So, so Francisco, you want to add to that? Absolutely, absolutely. So, so whether you are uh, an existing on Oracle Cloud customers or not, you might be running on Azure, IBM Watson. It doesn't really matter. The beauty of of, of chatbots is that via API we can basically connect to anything anywhere. So, so um, absolute absolute maximum flexibility uh, in integrating with uh, any kind of uh, backend system. Right. I hope that answers your question. All right. Thanks. Uh, so. Let's wrap it up, Francisco. I think we are almost yeah. time. Yeah. So um, I want to thank uh, thank everyone for you know taking the time uh, today and uh, and interact with us uh, with both uh, polls and uh, and this Q and A session. Um, and um, I think that uh, someone from Evosys and Bot Supply is going to follow up with a recording of uh, of this webinar so that you can uh, you know also share internally and uh, have a look at it together and. Uh, um, and in case of, of any question, then uh, then you will have our contact information uh, in case in case you are interested in uh, you know discussing how a free uh, FAQ HR chatbot could look like for uh, for your organization. This being said, uh, Shabir, thanks a lot uh, for you know uh, leading this uh, this webinar with me. Uh, thanks to all the attendees, and yep. uh, we look forward to to be in touch. And uh, have a nice day, uh, everyone. Have a nice day, everyone. Thank you so much for your time. Bye. Thank you, Francisco. Have a nice Thank day. you.